What's happening out there, YouTube? Welcome back to Peanuts Gallery. Got a fresh video, kind of be a quick one on a couple things I picked up from eBay. Yeah, normally I don't shop eBay when I want gaming merchandise, but I kind of was just searching through and I, I came across this what I thought was a pretty good deal for $100. Um, with that being said, let's show what we got. First thing that we have is the white Google Stadia controller. And then also with this came along for the $100 price ticket, the Founders Edition. Um, has all the content and packages inside. Um, kind of excited. I've already hooked it up and tested out to make sure everything works. It works great. So what I'd like to do right now is switch the camera view over and do a small unboxing for you. Let's get to that video coming up. Okay, guys, got the uh, camera switched around here, different angles to kind of show off the boxes here. Um, we're going to start with the clearly white premium controller first on the Stadia, and then we'll move over to the Founders Edition. Um, so move this here out of the way. Um, outside of the box is kind of clean. I mean, it's got a picture of the clearly white controller. Bottom of the box has kind of got some, you know, some, some information on your serial numbers. It says here, clearly white. You can kind of see that up here at the uh, in the camera. Going to have your specs on this side of the box. Feel free to go ahead and pause the video here if you'd like to read through that. And then back of the box, one place for all the ways we play. You know, it is what Stadia kind of boosts about to where you can play on your own device or you can, you know, through a Google Chromecast, that's fine too. And then on the side of the box here, you got, you know, pick up and play. Um, first thing I want to notice, this thing is packed in a beautiful box. Like th this box is very, very thick and durable. It's really sealed in there. So it, when it came from shipment, um, I had no worries about um, anything happening to the controller. Um, again, sometimes you order off eBay, you're not 100% sure what you're going to get. But, you know, that is what it is. With the, uh, before we get to the controller itself, this kind of lifts up and it'll flap and you're going to see that you've got a small, you know, decent, looks like about a, I'd say three and a half, four foot um, USB-C style charging cable. Um, also no brick, as most places are doing now. Then it has your connectivity user guide. Um, kind of neat, quality paper, Stadia controller, get started. Kind of gives you, a, if you want to, I'll kind of go through this a little slow so you can pause the screen if you'd like to kind of go through the booklet if you picked one of, one of these used. Um, of course, you could always probably get on Google and the PDF it as well, but it's kind of nice, you know, nice quality feeling paper to it. Then it's got some safety hazards here, and it's more of your toilet paper style of paper. With that being said in the box, what you can look at is the clearly white controller, and it, yeah, it feels really good in the hands. Um, it, it's interesting, though, it, it kind of has that PlayStation feel, and it kind of has that Nintendo Switch feel. Like I said, the neat thing about this controller is if you kind of compare it to the Nintendo Switch controller or even a DualShock 4 controller, um, it's actually quite larger than both. Um, if you can see here, about the same width as a PS4 controller. And then it's got a little more squared off width than what the uh, Nintendo Switch Pro controller has. But it has that same stick layout, which I've come so accustomed to with the PlayStation 4. But as far as the, the, it's got like a texture on the plastic, um, it's kind of a neat feeling, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know. It, it doesn't feel bad, but it, it's like smooth on the top and it has like this grainy feeling. I don't know if I can get that to zoom in here. But on the back side of the control, underside of the controller, you've got the headphone jack, microphone, so you can speak to your Google Assistant. You know, then it's got your L1 and L2, R1 and R2. It's got a nice trigger action. It's kind of got a good concave um, to those triggers. I kind of like that myself when it's resting in my hands. And again, like I said, it's got that PlayStation, you know, analog set up. It's got the L3 and R3, got your Stadia button, Google Assistant button, then your menu button, capture button, and um, your D-pad, then A, B, X, and Y. Um, with that being said, uh, kind of get to this one to the side here. Um, we'll go ahead and pack up this and get to the Founders Edition. This is the one I'm most excited about because not only does this come with the uh, Stadia controller in blue and orange, it actually has the Google Chromecast Ultra built in as well. And then it has your Founders Edition in silver foil. It's kind of a nice box. Same thing on the back, only it's in silver. And then Founders Edition on the side. No good pictures on this one. Then it's got the Stadia logo in silver as well with the Google emblem. This box as well is packed just as good as the other. I mean, you've got a nice premium inlay for the controller to rest in. And then you've got the uh, Founders Edition controller itself. Just like the Clearly White, it's got that blue and orange. I'm a high, you know, I'm, I highly like this one because honestly, guys, I'm a huge Chicago Bears fan. So that's the biggest reason I was looking for something like this. And for the fact that I got both for $100 all included, I can't complain, especially getting all the manuals and, and all the boxes. 
flip this up, what's on the inside of this case is pretty much the same, except it does have the Chrome, the Chromecast Ultra, but it does have a power brick. Um, does have a USB-C style charging cable. Again, probably a three and a half, four foot length by the way it looks. And then uh, it does have your power brick. Now on the inside, there is some manuals to so that. We'll get to that in one moment. But then you've got your Chromecast Ultra. I mean, look at this, guys. I picked this up used, and it still has the wrapping on it because he never used the Chromecast itself. Because with Stadia, he can use whatever you'd like. And honestly, I, I don't know if I'll use it either. But we might see him and then see how that kind of goes. And then on the power brick itself, what I do like about this is you obviously the Chromecast Ultra is um, Wi-Fi capable, but this one... Power brick actually has a built-in Ethernet port so you can hardwire it, which honestly, if you're going to get into heavy gaming, I do recommend doing that. But this cable is quite long. It's almost, I want to guess it's about six foot long because, I mean, you've got plenty of cord space because this is going to hook up to your TV and you need power to the device. Your TV doesn't power it through the HDMI, unfortunately. And then on the inside of the, the cardboard sleeve here with your power brick, you've actually got some user information. Now, yes, I didn't buy this brand new last year when it was available, so I'm not technically the founder, but the fact is I still got my month free for being a new member, and just the addition to having this one in the collection it is all worth it to me. As you open this up, you get a nice little card. The promise of creating one place for all the ways we play is a long-held dream. Today, we're proud to see that dream become reality. A community of players is the core of Stadia. Thank you for being the first to gather around, the Stadia team. Yeah, that's kind of a neat thing and nothing on the backside that they would, you know, include that in there. And then just like the clearly white controller, it's just your same. You've got your um, user manual, which is identical to the one in the clearly white. And then also on top of that, your warning guide labels. And then it comes with Stadia stickers. So, you know, man, I'm stoked. This kind of came in, like I said, for $100 price range and having everything completed. I, I really can't fuss and muss, but looking at both controllers together, um, as you can see, it's a nice, you know, it's a nice little combination. The blue feels just identically the same. You know, the D-pad feels good in the hands. It's got good button travel, a little clickish, but overall, you know, if you, if you were to merge the PS4 and the switch layout, to me, that's kind of giving you what this controller is kind of replicating. As you can see here, it's real close to the Nintendo Switch layout. It's a little bit wider, so it kind of gives you that squared off look with the PlayStation 4 DualShock um, with the analog button set up. And I'm doing this is how I've gamed for so many years. I I'm excited to see that. But at the end of the day, guys, it's not just about the controllers. It's about what Stadia can do. Okay, guys, I got my uh, Stadia account hooked up. Just pulled up my laptop here um, to make this quick and easy. Kind of show you how to pair a controller real fast. Take your laptop mouse, go in and you'll get a connect controller. All you gotta do, if I can show you this real fast, is hold this until it vibrates, it'll blink. Once it gets to an orange light, that means it's ready to be paired, and then put in your code. There, it vibrated. So you got... It'll vibrate some more. And you'll get an online notification that you're paired. Do you guys see that? It's linked there together in your solid white line. But to play a game, it, it's simple. Just, you know, we'll do some monster jams real quick. Just kind of show it highlighted here. Now, when I've played this game, I've not noticed any lag or anything like this. Um, I think it's kind of a neat thing um, that this controller can do what it does, and this gaming service can do what it does. Like I said, I've not noticed any lag, so yeah. I, I don't know how, what I'll do after the free month's over for $10 a month. It, it seems to be kind of worth it, especially if you're on the go. Um, maybe I'll something I can throw at the office while I have my other stuff setting at home it's kind of nice that i can use the chromecast on the tv or i can be sitting here with a with a laptop and you know playing a game on it um in high def um this laptop's a little older it's only got a 1080p screen so so bear with me on that but as you can see guys the service works flawlessly let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of the google stadia is it something you're interested in is it something you've picked up before is it something you 
can see yourself maybe getting down with, even though it's all digital. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It'd be kind of nice to grow the gallery a little bit. Anyway, guys, it'd be nice if it's something you guys are interested in. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the Google Stadia. You know, is it a service you've been using? Is it a service you're going to try to use? Um, also, let me know the Founders Edition. Is it something you guys thought about? It's kind of a neat idea to do as well. Peanut here, going to sign off with you guys and uh, look forward to seeing you again in the next video.